what's going on YouTube pipe smokers the Michigan pipe smoker here and uh, this evening I want to uh, just show off a couple of things uh, that I've got but first off I want to discuss the uh, a blend that I'm smoking so this one is an over counter and uh, this one's from 1965 and it is Sir Walter Raleigh and uh, yeah, quite a bit different from the originals, uh, from the new stuff, sorry. So. So, yeah, quite a bit different. Um, the room note I get on this is uh, more of a cigarette smell. And uh, it's quite a bit different from the new stuff. Because the new stuff... I don't know how to describe the new Sir Walter Raleigh, the more recent stuff. I don't know how to describe the smell, but this one's more cigarette smell. And, uh, which, you know, might be a turn off, but it's still really enjoyable smoke. I get more of that chocolate, creamy chocolate. It is so good. This is like, so good this this blend it's i don't know why they stopped making it like this honestly i i much prefer the old stuff than the than the new than the new sir walter Raleigh. it's like i'm smoking um some creamy hot chocolate it's just, this is so good but yeah that is uh with that is it with uh, the sir walter raleigh from 1965 but that's not the uh also what this video is all about i uh have some new tobacco to show you and uh i got it from a uh, friend uh from the furniture city pipe society eric kolowski and um yeah he was a uh, such a nice guy that uh that offered to pay um him uh quite a bit of money for some pipe tobacco when he was down in st louis for the pipe show st louis pipe show oh man i need to relight give me a second So, um, no, without without any further ado, uh, let's let's show you guys what I've what I've received. So, um, first off, I'll start off with the with the boxes and the pouches. Um, all these are over the counter. Um, some of them are um, still around, and some of them are discontinued. So, so first off, I'll show you with half and half. I'll do a video on this one. Um, this one's quite interesting for half and half. And you might be thinking, why would that just happen? Did you see this right here? I think it, there was an air bubble when I popped it. So yeah, the problem with these old uh, boxes that the, 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 the um, plastic is so brittle and yeah, it likes to do this and peel off like dry skin kind of gross to think about but that's what it likes to do so smokes um smokes quite a bit different i'll do a video on this comparing the two so yeah got that and then half um not half and half velvet so velvet the only thing interesting with this box is that there is no cigarette on the on here because velvet used to be advertised as cigarette tobacco not cigarette are you serious smoking tobacco <laughs> well well i mean kind of was cigarette tobacco but it could be used as that as well but it was multi-purpose so use it for pipes and cigarettes as well but 
I think later on towards the 70s, maybe the 60s, they re-advertised it as just pipe tobacco. So yeah, it looks relatively the same style from the 40s and the 50s, but without the cigarette. So yeah, America's Smooth Smoke Velvet. I'll have to do, uh, do a video because I have quite a bit of velvet, not quite a bit, but I have some from the 50s as well. So you have to do a video on that. So here's one of my favorites uh, that's discontinued. Kentucky Club and uh, I told I told him he sent me a picture of all the um, pipe tobacco that he saw that I might like um, I told him you got to get me that Kentucky Club because you can't I can't find this anywhere anymore so very happy that I uh, uh, picked it up and yeah apparently it keeps it 48% fresher in the pouch kind of like with Sir Walter Raleigh yeah that's pretty neat i love i will actually do love this uh artwork right here of the uh, kentucky club has the horse and the you know the horse rider and jumping over the fence it's like you're at a kentucky derby and uh yeah great stuff And then, also, last pouch I got, Union Leader. Union Leader um, is also very hard to come by. Um, um, yeah, Union Leader is a over-the-counter blend. Um, discontinued for about 20, 30 years, maybe. And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool uh, box art right here get the little American bald eagle right here on a branch or not a branch but holding on on some arrows and looks very patriotic kind of emblem and uh, yeah I also got some Union Leader from the 40s as well I have to do a video on that and this one I would say is from the 80s or the 90s maybe which I heard uh, was kind of around the downfall of pipe tobacco that era. So yeah, uh, Union Leader, I can move that. So uh, also got a few tens. So first one I want to start off with is Hickory. Hickory, um, this one's a Middleton blend. I don't know how long this one's been around, so it's probably been around for decades when Middleton, you know, was in its heyday. And uh, I tried a few pouch, uh, not a few pouches, but a few bowls full, and I'll have to do a review on this in the future. So, yeah, hickory, very nice. So, last two uh, are here. I got a Sutliff Private Stock Blend. It is Briggs Mixture. Um, so I do have the original Briggs Mixture, but I was also curious to try the Private Stock version from Sutliff. And uh, they discontinued this, obviously, so it makes it kind of rare to find these uh, tins. So yeah, very cool. I'll have to do a comparison video with the original and the Private Stock version from Sutliff, so. Yeah, very nice. And then last but not least, I got another another tin of this, which I don't know how how the hell this happens in life when you don't get a, a tin of Dill's Best when an opportunity presents itself. And then you get another one, and then you get another one. <laughs> This one is from 1955. So I got one from 1953 and this one from 1955. So pretty much the same, same uh, artwork from the uh, 1953 version. So very cool that he picked this up. So very, very happy. And I just wanna say thank you very much, Eric, uh, for being such an awesome guy.
and uh, being a good friend and picking these uh, picking these tins and pouches up for me. Otherwise, I'd never have uh, the opportunity to try some of them. So, yeah, um, that's all I have to say. Um, also, um, one of you guys might be wondering where I got the uh, the Sir Walter Raleigh. I got it from a good friend of uh, Pipe Appeal. He has a YouTube and Instagram page, um, which you also, which you also guys might have followed him or at least heard of him. He, he mainly makes reels and short short clips of of um, pipe tobacco and what it's like to be in the heyday and kind of like the old uh, old times and the, mostly the golden age. It takes you back to the golden age of pipe smoking. I couldn't come up with words, but yeah, very, very neat uh, channel. Uh, highly recommend you go check them out. Um, so I'll put a link uh, in his channel below so that way you can go check him out. So that's all I got to say, folks. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Feel free to subscribe and uh, like and com um, comment below on what, um, what blend I should review next, and I'll get to that soon. So see you all, guys, and take care. Goodbye.